entire Entrepreneurs Canadian journey, thank you so much for watching. If you're yet to subscribe, please don't forget to do so. It's very easy. Just hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon. This topic is long overdue and it is why people are leaving this lovely province that I've come to call home, Nova Scotia. Without further ado, let's get started. So if you've been following me on Beaver's Canadian journey, you probably know by now that my family and I relocated to Canada three years ago, over three years ago, and we came to this lovely province, Nova Scotia. Okay, we came via the Federal Express entry, meaning we had um, the choice of other provinces and territories, but we chose Nova Scotia for several reasons. I've discussed this in um, previous videos. But the truth is that Nova Scotia has changed and is changing. Okay, and since coming here, we've met um, a few families, immigrants, and other Canadians that have left Nova Scotia or are planning to leave Nova Scotia for um, several reasons. And we're going to talk about it today. Now, the truth is, um, this place is still um, a lovely place. There are some things that are constant with Nova Scotia. It's not going to change. Number one is the people. The people here are one of the nicest. I've said this before and I'm going to keep saying it till it changes, if it changes. A cousin of mine just moved from another province and she was talking to me the other day and she's like, Biba, now I can relate with what you're saying that truly Nova Scotians are nice. So there's some things that are constant. But like with everywhere in the world, change has to happen. And a lot of people like myself, I like to blame this change on a very important factor that is, that was or is the pandemic, okay, that happened. So this is why a number of people are leaving. Okay, one of the main reasons is the fact that the price of accommodation, of housing, if you want to rent or you want to own a mortgage has really gone up. Okay, and again, we can blame COVID. Because what happened is during the pandemic, there was a housing boom in Canada. Now, somebody will be thinking, but Habiba, a boom is supposed to be a good thing. Yes, but it has its repercussions and there's some consequences that come with the housing boom. So the housing boom happened in Canada and Nova Scotia got the brunt of it. So what happened was you had a lot of people in other provinces that, for example, were paying for townhouses. Maybe in that, those provinces, the townhouses were like 700,000 or 600,000. But here in Nova Scotia, for the same um, type of house, decent location, you could get that same townhouse for 250, 300,000. So you had a lot of people coming in from other provinces because remember with the pandemic, there was work from home, meaning you could live in Timbuktu and, you're, and be working and your office is in the North Pole and you don't need to go to the office. So with work from home, a lot of people from other provinces were coming to Nova Scotia, people that had um, a lot of money to spend on housing. Remember I said, you take the scenario, somebody's paying 700,000 for a three bed townhouse in Ontario. And then the houses advertised for 300,000 in Nova Scotia, but people are saying, I can pay 500,000 for it. So houses were going for 100% above asking price. Now, what that happens is the prices of houses went up. So you want to get a mortgage, it had gone up. You want to rent a house, an apartment, it just, the housing market just, it was ridiculous. Okay, it went up. When we were coming in, when we came in 2019, you could get a decent two bedroom apartment for, depending on the location, $800 a month, $1,000 a month. 
now that's almost impossible people coming in now three years later are having to pay two thousand dollars for a two-bedroom apartment so almost double the amount in three years okay now and another thing that pushed up the prices of um, housing is the influx of people in january early this year nova scotia reached one million people for the first time a lot of people were excited some people were not that happy because with population increase with population growth comes a lot of you know <laughs> good and bad so a lot of people newcomers immigrants and people from other provinces trooping into nova scotia but what happened was that supply was not meeting up with demand and economics 101 if supply is not meeting up with demand what happens is that the prices of things go up so you have a lot of people through picnic nova scotia is saying we need a lot of skilled workers which they do but somewhere at the back of my mind i'm thinking was or is the province ready for this influx of people so if you ask anybody that came into nova scotia even to canada in 2022 they will tell you getting accommodation was quite hard and the price was on the high side okay so this is one major change so take for instance somebody that was spending 35 percent of their salary on rent or on a mortgage in 2022 that has changed that same person is probably now spending 45 percent 50 percent ouch <laughs> that is a lot and then let us also put into consideration the fact that the price of everything all around the world went up the price of groceries went up the price of you know child care went up the price you want to buy clothes everything has gone up so what we started seeing was that a lot of people in Nova Scotia, like in the city, main cities like Halifax, Dartmouth, Truro, a lot of people started moving to rural areas, two, three hours away from, you know, the main city centers, because the truth is you can now work from home. So a friend of mine was telling me about her colleague that works in Halifax, but because the, you know, rent went up in Halifax by some people close to 100% increase, this colleague moved to a rural area three hours away from her office. Three hours away. So she comes to work twice a week and she does that journey, that commute to and fro, three hours, that's six hours. But the roads are good, the scenery is amazing, and I'm sure she doesn't mind. Okay, and for quite a number of people, they just moved into, you know, go to other provinces where it's easier to start afresh and it's easier to downsize. So you go to another province, nobody knows you and you can downsize. Okay, so that is the reality of Nova Scotia in 2022. Now, it's not all gloom and doom. Okay, with population growth, population increase, yes, this happens. But what this also means for the province is that the province is growing. 10, 15 years ago, provinces like Ontario and BC also had their own pricing boom, housing boom, and this happened. But over time, this is going to stabilize. We're not gonna go back to the era where you would find a two bedroom apartment in a very nice place for $800 a month. I don't think that's ever going to happen, I wish. But what will happen is that things will stabilize. With population growth, with increase, you have all these big multinational companies coming to the province. A couple of months ago, Amazon opened a warehouse in Dartmouth in Nova Scotia, hired a lot of people, especially students. So growth is also good. The government has put measures in place, you know, for housing. So everywhere you turn in Nova Scotia now, there's construction houses are coming up buildings but we all know that these are long-term plans and it's gonna take a while for supply to move up um, to catch up with demand it's coming but it will take a while but this is the reality of Nova Scotia in 2022 
and anytime somebody tells me they're leaving to another province or to a smaller area I just I can't fault them I totally understand but for my family and I there's a province we love we're still here it's home for now so something else happens fingers crossed but um, just wanted to provide an update um, for Nova Scotia and again if you're considering coming to Canada and you don't know which province to put on your list first I'm still going to recommend that you put Nova Scotia first <laughs> but until next time keep watching Beaver's Canadian Journey follow me on Instagram at Beaver's Canadian Journey and don't forget to subscribe, share this video. Take care.